There's an oral tradition to telling the story of the Iliad. The original poet they call Homer. My feeling is that there are many Homers who tell war stories. And Jimmy DeVita, who's the actor, is in the role of the poet telling the story of the Iliad for the first time. Helen has been stolen and the Greeks have to get her back. That's always something, isn't it? But it's a good story. And I remember a lot of it. Imagine a beach rocky, jagged, and oh, about, about a mile and a half inland. Imagine a city with stone ramparts protecting it. This city was called Troy. The electricity of this production comes a lot out of just the subtle invention of the 54 characters that are mentioned in the story of the Iliad, and one performer, one great storyteller, sort of shifting, like shape-shifting quickly. You're sitting there in the audience and you're thinking, my God, that was one person that we saw go through that entire event. And Jimmy's just the perfect guy for the job. But Hector can't stop yelling at Patroclus even though he's dead. You think you know my fate? Why should I fear death? No, death is on my side. Death is my brother, and together we will devastate you. We will murder all Greeks. With that, he planted a heel upon Patroclus' chest, wrenched the brazen spear from the wound, kicked him over, flat on his back, and then he starts tearing the rest of Achilles' armor off the dead body, savagely, awkwardly, crying out like an animal. It's unescapable that war is a part of our psyche, that war somehow at this point in our evolution is inescapable. And why is that? I mean, I think that the, the deepest question that this play is asking is why are we so addicted to rage? Why are we addicted to the adrenaline that comes with conflict? Why can't we step away from this when we actually see the human cost over and over again? And I hope that we communicate a little of what that thing is that we're asking our young men and women to do and what that thing is that once they've done it, they bring back. Every time I sing this song, I hope it's the last time.